The Earth is sinking in plastic, and unless we take urgent action, by 2050 there will be more plastic than fish in the seas. Can satellite data and AI help us solve marine litter pollution? To address this question, innovative ideas have been submitted to the 2020 AI Moonshot Challenge, and three made the shortlist. We saw on Wednesday the pictures of the selected proposals and now the winning team of up to 500,000 euros to conduct research from Portugal will be announced. Please welcome the jury. Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying these AI Moonshot sessions. I am Carolina Sá and before announcing the winner, I would like to do some acknowledgements. I had the pleasure to co-share the jury panel, to whom I would like to thank for the very fruitful exchange of views during evaluation. To Nikolai Maximenko, Shungu Garaba, Laura Lorenzoni, Pierre-Philippe Mathieu, Vasco Pedro, and my fellow co-chair, Paolo Corradi, a big thank you. I would also like to thank all the institutions that partnered with Portugal Space to allow this edition of the AI Moonshot Challenge. FCT, the Foundation for Science and Technology, ANI, our National Innovation Agency, ESA, the European Space Agency, and UNBABEL. Last but not least, I have to thank all the teams for complicating the life of the jury panel with submission of very interesting and good quality proposals. Unfortunately, there can only be a winner of this first edition of the AI Moonshot Challenge, and the team that got an overall higher score was Smart. Congratulations. Congratulations to the winning proposal. For the closing session, please welcome Ricardo Conde from the Portuguese Space Agency and Paulo Dimas from Unbabel. Hello everyone, I'm Ricardo from the Portuguese Space Agency and I'm here with uh, Paulo from Unbabel. As you know, we started this uh, challenge and uh, this journey uh, when we announced uh, uh, last year uh, on the Web Summit. As you know, terabytes of data are generated every day from satellites and uh, the challenge is how to deal with this amount of data and process them to extract all the relevant information that can help us to cope with not just local or regional problems, but uh, global issues such as uh, marine pollution. And this, together with the artificial intelligence, is really a challenge, right Paul? Exactly, so we really believe that we are at a turning point uh, where uh, AI combined with these huge amounts of, of data generated by, by satellites can really process the data and, and, and cover you know, uh, new possibilities. Uh, and, and when these possibilities are uh, combined with solving such a hard and important problem for our planet, the, the, the marine litter pollution in the oceans, uh, we, it's really, really exciting. That's, that's why in Babel, uh, an AI first company, uh, you know, is very excited to, to collaborate with BT Space on this initiative uh, so that we combine, you know, uh, both of our skills in, in these two areas to attract the best talent in the world uh, on AI and, and satellite imagery uh, that, you know, to address this, this big, big challenge. Yeah, and the satellite can be an important asset, uh, monitoring large areas such as the oceans. And uh, Portugal and the Portuguese Space Agency has established the Atlantic as a priority region to promote, uh, in fact, uh, 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 to get more data from satellite. And we are promoting a satellite constellation that will allow us to better address the user needs and also having uh, access to open data to improve our models. And uh, uh, we hope uh, this challenge can help promote the use of satellite data together with uh, artificial intelligence. But uh, we have uh, some news, right? 
Exactly. Yeah, and 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 we are really excited to announce uh, that you know together with with Web Summit, so Web Summit for us is an amazing platform to promote this initiative, uh, to to attract the, the best talent uh, that we're gonna you know continue, uh, and that we'll be here next year announcing the the next uh, winners, uh, and uh, you know to solve uh, another problem uh, in the same area in the in the same intersection of technologies, uh, and yeah, so we're gonna be here. So see you next year. See you next year. Bye bye. And to close this year's challenge in the best way, we are proud to announce the Portuguese Minister of Science, Technology and Higher Education, Manuel Eitor. One year ago, we launched the Moonshot Challenge as a way to mobilize um, people all over the world to come and do research in Portugal to integrate high-resolution satellite image with advanced um, IT systems, including artificial intelligence and other machine learning methodologies, to real focus on one of our most critical challenges, plastic litter in the oceans. And again, this year, we have recognized then about 10 teams, which will come from different organizations worldwide, have um, met with researchers in Portugal and proposed a number of different um, proposals and the, the um, high level committee has decided about who should win this competition. And this is to be continued over the coming um, year and I'm very pleased to announce that we accept to launch the second Moonshot Challenge to address key issues particularly in the context that we live on. We could not forget, never, that the COVID-19 has started with animals, have passed from animals to human beings, and that zoonotic diseases are increasing, and particularly that the scientific evidence shows that this pandemic is a clear manifestation of um, climate change and in general, the imbalance we live between our economic and human activities and mother nature. And again, the idea that we, are, we live in times of a new balance between economic activity and um, uh, the biodiversity of um, uh, the planet Earth will show us that we need to better use new observation methods, particularly high resolution satellite data combined with advanced IT systems to create new jobs, but certainly better jobs and more sustainable jobs, and above all, to develop and be enoughly creative to foster new economic activities based on a new principle of um, the circular economy, particularly associated with the preservation of our environment, but above all, above all, promoting the evolution of human being in this new era of the Anthropocene. So apply for the next challenge, and year after year, we try to improve our schools and our way to do more and better research towards a new balance between more economy, but also better economy and better preservation of our environment. Thank you. 50 years after landing on the moon, a new challenge on Earth is being addressed, combining advanced technologies such as satellite data and AI. The winning team will now start to implement their solution Thank you all for taking part in this amazing adventure. See you all again next year for the second edition of this challenge. In the meantime, don't forget to check the AI Moonshot website for the latest news.